Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Marima Forbes and today I have a special video for you guys. I'm going to be sharing with you the top things that you need to pack when you are going to Sierra Leone. Now these are the items that I took with me when I was going and I'll have a link in the description box to every single item that I purchased so you can get it too. Anyway, let's get into this video. So this item I feel is super duper duper important. Please listen to me closely when I say this. Please make sure you pack wet wipes. Now you are going to thank me later because in Solon specifically it's very dusty. Very, very dusty. Super duper dusty. So you want to make sure you have wet wipes so you can wipe out that dust when you need to wipe it out, whether it's going on your legs or your arms or or anything like that make sure that you carry with you wet wipes and also another tip i'll i'll also um say to you ladies men is make sure you also get a um wet wipes that's a toilet tissue version so rather than having um um paper roll toilet you can get the wet wipe version and and the reason why I say for you to get a wet wipe version is because there's certain areas you're going to go to in Sierra Leone that um, there's not going to be any toilet tissue paper at all. So it's really great practice that you have the wet wipe version of it and you have it in your bag or your man bag. So anywhere you go, you, you, you'll be able to use you know, you'll be able to wipe yourself, basically. Because now, a lot of people don't think about, you know, packing this item. But I think it's a very important item to pack. And this item is a first aid kit. Now, the reason why I say you should pack a first aid kit is because mostly in Sierra Leone, the roads are very bumpy. You, you, you know, it's you're more prone to fall down when you're in Sierra Leone. You're more prone to have accidents because, like I said, things are not as smooth. They're a bit more bumpy. You know what I'm trying to say? And I really think you should pack yourself a mini first aid kit. Now, these kits, you know, you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, it's a, those big, massive ones that, that, that they normally have in offices. No, you can get a really small, tiny, tiny first aid kit and you can put that in your suitcase and that and you can have the ones we can even put in your bag every single day with you. I will put a link in the description box so you can see the different types of traveling first aid kits that you can order and carry along with you but i definitely advise for you to um, have one to protect yourself because at the end of the day accidents is something that can happen at any given time and you want to make sure that you have the right the right items with you to protect yourself a mosquito bite a bug bite is no joke those things sting it hurts and it leaves your skin really, really sore. So please pack yourself a mosquito repellent spray. Pack as much as you can pack because I am telling you now, it is painful. And sometimes it can even leave your scar. So please pack yourself a mosquito repellent spray and also pack, pack yourself a bug spray. You know, pack yourself a bug spray. Some people, some people tend to only get a, a mosquito, a mosquito spray, but don't get a bug spray. Get yourself a, a body bug spray as well. And as well, because at the end of the day, guys, there are all kinds of little creepy crawlies in any African country that you go to. And they, they will crawl in your house. They will crawl on your skin. And you need to make sure when they bite you, you are ready to pss, spray them away from you and protect your skin okay get yourself a repellent spray and get yourself a bug spray you know light goes off at any given time in africa literally in Sierra Leone, it is no different so you want to make sure that you're prepared when the light goes off because that light sometimes won't return back until a couple of days sometimes it's a few hours sometimes it's just a, it's, it's a it's just a couple of minutes by the end of the day you want to make sure that you're prepared when that light goes off because it is no fun being in the dark and it can be a little bit scary i'll be honest with you so make sure that you pack yourself a handheld torch you can get a small mini one you know that you can just put in your bag you can even get a bit more of a bigger one if you have space in your suitcase but please make sure that you 
buy yourself a little tiny torch that you can have with you for any emergency situation now we have beautiful melanin skin that protects us against the sun however it does not mean you can't get skin cancer it does not mean you cannot get a sunburn it cannot mean that you can't get patches on your skin so please when you are packing my beautiful melanated people pack yourself sunscreen sunscreen for your children and sunscreen for the elderly people and sunscreen for yourself protect your skin make sure you order yourself a spray if that's the one you prefer or a cream version if that's the one you prefer i'll place a link in the description box to the ones that i purchased personally for me i like the spray sun sunscreens only because it's just much more easier when i'm going about with my day if i'm wearing a skirt or, or my arms is out i just go ahead and just spray those areas that are exposed and i just go about with my day and i also carry the cream with me in my bag just in case as a top up if i'm going to be out for the whole day so yeah get yourself a sunscreen and protect your beautiful melanated skin so it's very important that you pack a power bank very 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 important that you you pack this item and purchase one immediately if you haven't already because in Sierra Leone, the light is not is very temporary that's all I can describe. It's very temporary. It goes off at any given random time. And sometimes it won't return until maybe a day. Sometimes it can be just a few hours, sometimes just a few minutes. But at the end of the day, you need to make sure that you are prepared. And the way that you can make sure that you are prepared is by having a power bank. Because that is how you're going to be make sure that's how you're going to make sure that you can still use your phone. You can still use your phone as a light. So please make sure that you pack a power bank when you are coming. Now, this one, you know, some people may, may say they don't want to take it with them. Some people may say they want to take it with them. But for me, I think it's, it's very important that you pack medication with you. And the reason why I say for you to pack medication with you is because when you go to different African countries, um, the regulations are a little bit more different. You're, you're not quite sure where the med medication are coming from. And a lot of people sell expired medication. Like they really sell, sell expired medication. So you want to make sure whatever you consume in your body, it's something that you're used to, something that you trust. So I definitely advise you to bring your own medication with you. Now me, I brought my own paracetamol because, you know, I'm prone to get headaches, so I need my my paracetamol. So I packed paracetamol with me. I packed other um, painkillers with me as well. And also, if you're someone who you are on medication, do order a bit more um, that can last you for the length of time that you're going to be in Sierra Leone. So that way you don't run out. So definitely pack yourself medication. Even if you don't need painkillers, pack it with you anyway, because anything can happen. Okay okay now um there's water available in africa clean um sanit sanitized water however um sometimes you know when you are going about in your day you know you you may you may not have access to bottled water everywhere you go so one advice i definitely would give to all of you who are traveling is to have a to, to pack with you a water bottle so when you have this water bottle it means that before you leave your house you can pour water into it put it in your bag and go about with your day when you get thirsty you just open it up and you drink your water and you're good and you're safe and you're not having to drink any type of water that that you may not trust or brand of water that you may not trust because of some of you as as you will come to learn when you go into africa is there's many different brands of water and you can go from one area there's this brand you go to another area is a different brand and sometimes when you're mixing all those different brands of water together it can upset your stomach so i definitely advise that you go ahead and you get yourself a water bottle i put a link in the description box to a water bottle on amazon that you can purchase but definitely advise for you to get a water bottle um i just feel like it just makes things a little bit more easier okay 
Okay, it is still COVID time, guys. Let's keep it real. COVID has not disappeared, all right? So you are going to need to pack your hand sanitizer. And most importantly, I would say pack one because sanitation is not the best in Sierra Leone. You know what I'm trying to say? There's so much dust and people in their personal hygiene is not the best. You know, people touch things and you go and touch it and then you can make yourself sick. So definitely carry it with you. Make Make sure you pack sufficient amount but one thing i would say is when you are going to public areas there are sanitizers sanitizers available anyway but there's no harm in having your own you know okay so make sure you pack yourself a hand sanitizer now it's super duper hot in any african country that you go to and if you are a diaspora who is visiting africa for the first time you are going to feel the heat even more and even if you go to africa regularly that heat still is very hot so one thing that really kept me cool that really like kind of gave me a little bit of a fighting chance with the sun is a handheld fan now handheld fans you see mostly nearly every diaspora in africa has a handheld fan because you know we we're not used to the sun so make sure that you pack yourself a handheld fan i'll place a link on the description box to the handheld fan that i used so maybe you can you can also get that okay now we all love our phones i love my phone i hate when my phone is not charged but what's worse is when you've lost all your charges and you cannot charge your phone so i definitely advise that you carry with you spare charger you know one actually purchase like two spare chargers to take with you in addition to the charger that you already have because chargers can go missing very easily and at the end of the day you know um you just want to make sure that if it's missing you can replace it straight away you can buy a charger when you when you are in this area and however sometimes the chargers just don't work well over there and it may not respond to your phone very well so i'll definitely advise to you bring your own spare chargers again another item that you have to carry with you because we are still going through covid is a mask carry with you mask when you are packing because everywhere you go um, in the world right now, you will need to wear a mask because we all know this new Om Omnicorn um, variant. I'm not quite sure if I'm saying it right or the Omarion, as some people call it. The new variant is out. So at the end of the day, we need to protect yourself. So you can literally go on Amazon and buy yourself a pack of face masks. I'll place a link in the description box um, to show you where you can purchase one and just Put it in your suitcase at least you know you have that with you at any given time um if your mask that you're using goes missing okay now plug adapters i think this is an obvious one we you know if you, if you're someone who who travels frequently you know that you need adapters because you know any types of plug versions are out there and in certain it is no different you can you can stay in one place another place is a, it's a different adapter so you need to make sure you have an adapter with you so each time you need to charge your phone or your or your electronic items that you have you know your adapter with you to make sure that you can do that so make sure that you pack your adapter when you are packing your suitcase so those are all the items that I packed with me when I was visiting Sierra Leone. So I really hope that it's helped you as well. And if there's anything and that I did not mention that you think should have been mentioned, then please go on the comment section and write down below some of the items you think are important that other people should also pack when they are going. And I might do a part two video. So again, thank you so much for watching. And if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, then what are you doing? You go all the way to the end and you haven't subscribed please click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and if you have any any um questions or anything please go to the comment section and write it there and if you're not already following me on instagram or twitter or snapchat then please do follow me on those other social social media platforms my name on all of those platforms is mariam forbes so it's very easy for you to find me thank you again for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye